In this example, we're going to take a look at a core guideline that I like to use uh, to make upside adjustments. In this example, I am short 2435-2445 bear call spread and 2200-2190 bull put spread. So my rule of thumb is make an adjustment to the upside when um, short strike delta on the upside exceeds 20. So in this example, um, 2435 call delta is currently 22, which means it's time to make an adjustment. To make an adjustment, first thing I need to do is figure out what my net delta exposure of this position is. This software that I use, it tells me all of my uh, position Greeks here in this part. Um, so we can see that this position right now, it's, it's, a, it's a 10 lot. So I'm short 10 contracts uh, on each side. So net delta right now is about minus 57. What I want to do to remove at least half of this directional uh, exposure is add about 30 to 35 deltas to this position. What this will do, this is my current T plus zero line, which is pointing downwards. And if SPX continues higher, this position is going to accumulate losses pretty fast. The goal of this adjustment is to lift my T plus zero line so that if SPX continues higher, instead of accumulating losses, this position will be relatively flat and give me an, an opportunity to make further adjustments, which will be closing out the original uh, call spread and potentially rolling it out a little bit higher in price. Delta on the short call tells me when to make an adjustment. When this number exceeds 20, it's time to make a move. What I use to make an adjustment to determine the size and to pick the strikes and the number of contracts that I'm going to use, I use this number, which is the net delta of this position. So at minus 57, I need to add about 30 to 35 delta to this position. Now I like to go out and use options that have at least 45 days to expiration. So in this example, we're going to look at July 7 options. And to add 30 to 35 deltas, I can look to buy one 35 delta call. I can use two 15 delta calls. I can use three 10 delta calls. I mean, it really doesn't make a difference. I think using options that are um, out of the money is a little bit more effective. So let's take a look at uh, adding two 2450 calls that are in July 7 expiration cycle. So now my T plus zero line, this is before making this adjustment. And now my new T plus zero line is a lot smoother on the upside, which means that if SPX continues to move higher, instead of accumulating losses on the way up here, my losses are going to be somewhat controlled. And this essentially will give me the time I need to make further adjustments. Now, if, if, for example, this trade wasn't um, a 10 lot, let's say we had a 5 lot position on. Again, 2435 call is a delta 22, which tells me that adjustment needs to be made. 
I look at my net delta, which is right here, 27, 28. And now I know that I need to remove at least half that. So say I wanted to buy 15 delta and add it to this position. I can go and look at one 15 delta call, which is right here, which will take my delta from minus 28 to minus 13. And I could look to buy two 8 delta calls, which is right here, 2470. Again, this adjustment will lift my T plus zero line and will smooth out this line on the upside. So again, when it comes to making adjustments, there are two numbers that I look for when making this adjustment. Number one is I look for my short strike delta to reach a point where I know that I need to make a move. Once I hit that number, the next thing I look at is my position and what my net delta of this position is. And then, in this case, net delta is minus 57. I need to get rid of at least half that delta. So based on this number, I will go out and decide how much delta I need to add to this position. So if it's if if I needed to add thirty delta, I may go and buy three ten delta calls, which is right here, twenty four sixty five. Or if I needed to add twenty eight delta, I would go and buy two fourteen delta calls. But either way, the point of this adjustment is to raise the T plus zero line, and in case uh, underlying makes a strong move to the upside instead of accumulating losses here the rate of losses will be kind of under control and um, I'm not going to be uh, in a position to get stopped out if SPX makes a fast move to the upside 